Hi, on this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create an audio trigger within OBS using Advanced Scene Switcher and why would you want to do something like that? So in my recording studio I have a talkback mic that I can push a button for and I have a multi-camera environment. I have uh, four cameras right now that automatically rotate, uh, sw switching between scenes. And what I want to do is every time I press the microphone button, I want it to focus back on a specific camera. So uh, that's what I'm going to teach you how to do. So the first thing you're going to need is a piece of software called Loopback from a company called Rogue Amoeba. If you don't know what it is, it's like virtual audio cables and uh, you create virtual audio devices. And right here, this is going to get titled, uh, we're going to call this trigger, like the horse. So I have, for demonstration purposes, I, I have an interface here. Um, it's a, a Zoom R16 deck which is an eight channel mixer uh, and it, it has eight separate uh, audio ends. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna grab the specific channel that has a talkback mic on it. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go into loopback and I created a new virtual device here. It's called Trigger. And we're gonna look for the source right here, audio devices, Zoom R16, R24. And you can see here, channel 5 is the one that the uh, audio mic is plugged into. Now what I want to do, because I don't want this to track onto the uh, normal audio channels, I'm going to add up to channels 5 and 6 right here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag an audio cable down to 5 and I'm going to drag one to 6. So now you can see that channels five and six have audio being piped to them. So let's go here into uh, OBS and we're gonna set up uh, the desktop audio. Let's see, the audio for this right here would typically be default if you were piping audio through this because this is a QuickTime video, I'm not piping any audio through it. And then right here we would choose trigger as the desktop audio two. Now you can see uh, desktop audio two is live because it's getting uh, it's getting the trigger audio. Trig, I'm going to call this trig audio. And so this is the trigger audio. Now what I want to do is I want the camera to switch to camera two whenever the trigger audio is uh, at a certain level. So we're going to go here to uh, Advanced Scene Switcher, and we're going to create a macro. We've already got the auto switch macro happening. If you need to learn how to do that, I suggest you go back and watch the other video for that. So we're going to create this one, and it's going to be called Audio Trigger now, um, what I'm going to do here, if scene, if audio, select audio source, trig audio is above, and there's a handy dandy little slider right here, and I'm going to bump it over to here, uh, and then what you want to do is you want to tell it to switch scene to, uh, we call it camera two. So... Let's see if this works. So we're on camera two right here, and if I talk into the mic right here, look, oh look, it just switched. So, so you see how that works? It's kind of cool, huh? Anyways, if this uh, helps you out, uh, I'm, I'm happy that it did, so, uh, Give me a subscribe if you can, and I appreciate you tuning in and checking it out. Thanks.